Hey guys, my name is Adamento123 and welcome back to Let's Play Mark Echo's Getting Up. In the last episode, you went into subway tunnels, went over a couple of tags, got introduced to Dip, a member of um, Gabe's gang, um, the Vandals of New Radius, obviously. And we got introduced to the Vandal Squad, which are a more difficult enemy than the standard CCK guards and the security guards we got introduced to in the last section. So, let's get started. We don't need to set up the black book because we did it the last episode and we're still in the same section. So, let's continue. Again, not sure on cutting out loading screens. For sake of time, because I don't really mind. I like watching long videos. Not that I watch my own videos. Because they're awful. Well, that's up to you. To me, I'm not huge. Some great balance we've got there. Where are the trains? That's one. Maybe? I don't know. Yep. This side? I use the light to throw them into the trains, it cuts down fighting time. But then again, I don't really mind. It's also another thing, I don't know what to talk about during fights. Damn it. Oh, didn't sell. So let's get started. Okay, maybe the black boat is reset. I bet. But oh well, a bit of variety never heard anyway. And I've followed um, the possible sequel of this game. I've followed stories and rumors for a while. And one of the biggest complaints people had about this game was how limited the black boat was. You can only choose four pieces and just one variety of those pieces. So, if there was a sequel, they'd probably grade it somehow and give you more. It may have kept it at the standard four, but had it like the freeform pieces where you could change the color. And, well, they may have added more, they may have added more spaces, but I'm not entirely sure. People also wanted custom um, artwork, which they could put themselves in the game. Which would have been cool, I guess, but I don't know. It would be nice to see a sequel to this game anyway. And people said they wanted it, and people said they wanted to make it. So, I don't see why not.
I guess the gaming industry or markets changed too much. And we've we've been disputing this for a while because um we're fans of the Time Splitters series, and when I say we, I say me and my friends. Um, well, a couple of us are. Fans of the Time Splitters series, and people want Time Splitters 4. It's fair enough, but the, um, I know I keep, I'm not paying attention to this. The people who make Time Splitters 4 were bought out by Crytek, and they're now Crytek UK. And Crytek UK are currently making Homefront 2, I believe. And Homefront had a Looked cool. The, um, the trailers were interesting, but the game was so far ahead of. Or whatever. And. Because people just want the standard modern warfare shooters when. Could have something like Time Splitters, which is, well, at this time not an original concept, but something different. Off the Great Train. Damn it. There may not be room for a game like this in today's market, but there's some original art actually going on out there, so it's possible. Although a small independent team are making Time Splitters Rewind for the PC. So that'll be nice to see. But anyway, I should really talk about this game. I would have loved to see a sequel. They could have done so much in this generation and the next generation upcoming. Well, what we're currently in. I mean, you saw it at the beginning of the game, and you'll see throughout the, um... The digitized scene. Right, you're right, dog. Frame. Okay, I'll write Cope 2. Oh! Cope 2! Yo, would you mind getting up in my black book? Look, man, it doesn't matter how fresh your style is if nobody sees it. The more spots you get up, the better, so stay up, Tranny. But remember, it's hot down here. This city is really not trying to see us. If the subway's one thing, man, remember it's dangerous, so watch out for oncoming trains. And don't step on the third rail, because if you do, it's the last thing you'll ever do. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Down that tunnel are layups. It's like a parking lot, a subway car, a sitting duck. It's all about bombing the train. Yeah, um, I got this, man. What are you waiting for? New Year's? Come on, man, go walk the walk, dog. I'm going. I'm just saying, man. So that's second graffiti legend. What was the second? Oh, yeah. The um, digitized scenes you saw in the intro and you'll see throughout other scenes in the game. That they look fantastic and... That's, I know that's pre-rendered graphics, but still, they could do a lot with this game, or this style of game. Those secondary tags you see around, I'm not going to bother with them. I'm not going for rep, I'm just going to complete this game. As I said last time, if you want me to do the secondaries, I'll do them. Gives the people out there who like longer videos, longer video, and something more to waste time on. Now there's a few people out there who like longer videos, myself included. But you never know. There's someone out there who probably wants to watch this. Don't know who or where that person is, but there's probably someone.
I'll just wait for this train to go past. So in short, we're coming soon. Yeah. Let's get started, I guess. There it is. Train's probably coming back soon. Up, oh, side. I'm just looking order of not order. Over at my um, old S2 waveforms, and I should really speak up. I know I can amplify it, but can this can distort it, and I don't want to do that. So if I'm too quiet, I'm sorry, but I'm not really a loudspeaker. But I'll try and get better at speaking more clearly. Well, I speak clearly, I guess, but not loud enough. And hell, sometimes I don't even speak clearly. But I'll try speaking a bit louder. bad train you just might have the stomach for this after all the best way to the layup is through that utility duck over there if you're really looking for a beef getting a dip like that be easy yo okay then Like I said, it's been a while since I've played this game, so I'll look around the environment for a bit, try and figure out what I have to do, but I'll get it in the end. This is what a stealth aspect of the game comes into play. Oh, you think you are like that? Thank you. 
I know I use this one a lot, but I like it. It's a bit more striking than the other ones. Again, speaking too quietly. Come on, speak up. Like I said, I could probably amplify it in Audacity or something. Not sure if the waveform zoomed out or anything, but I don't know. And sometimes when I've completed the game, I like to just play sections that I've I like, and just with the newer tags that you get on later on the game. So I don't know why I just do. Okay. Next train. Okay then. Again, I'm sorry for being so quiet, but there ain't much to say when you're doing this. And it's not like I have to concentrate hard or anything. It's... I don't know, I just don't have much to say. Oh, I was in a Skype call the other day for two hours or something, and I didn't say I would. So, I just don't like to speak that. Well, it's not that I don't like to speak, it's just that I don't speak. I like talking to people. When I'm talking to myself, there ain't much I can say. I've watched Let's Players when they're starting off a series, when they're starting off Let's Playing, and they think it's a bit weird, and they get used to it. And hopefully I will too. But we'll see. We've got a lot of episodes to go, so... Guess we'll find out in due time. Now we're getting to use another main character. Well, not really main. I forget how to get to it. Of course, trains.
Nothing like a good brawl in the subway. I guess. Nah, Duke, I work solo. But tell me, you seen that preppy kid that's been rolling with Gabe lately? You mean Dick? Oh, you'll find him in that direction. Take the subway car here to LaSalle Avenue and jump off at the big curb. See, I know shit. Yo, yo, if you ever think about starting a crew, I got some deaf names for some. Yo, it looks like your, your ride is leaving. You better hitch on if you want to make it. It's not the last we'll see of him. But again, I think this is the end of this episode. Should be. Uh, yes. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Well, the end of the section, not the end of the episode. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Um, thank you for watching. Again, it means a lot to me that someone's actually watching this and thank you for watching thank you for listening i'll see you next time goodbye